Now on to Lost Legends. Lost Legends of Skyrim by Talsgar the Elder, Archivist of Winterhold. The history of Skyrim is vast and predating even the most ancient records of man and mare. Much has been lost, f fallen to the ravages of war or turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told uh, whispered tales of the pale lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes forever seeking her lost daughter. Some, sh some say she steals children who wander astray, others that her sobbing wail strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth, for ancient records speak of Amriel, a mysterious figure, Vosgrimar's Hairs, uh, heirs battled for decades and finally sealed away. Breachmen tell the story of fallen Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based with an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mention a rebel leader of the era who eventually was... Uh, cornered and slain in battle at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyze. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of Archimond Galder. In the dawning days of the first era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galdar. Wise and just, he was well known in the courts of King Harold and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by men and Mir alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him, others the King Harold, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galdur's three sons fled into the nights, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors, and the Lord Girmund, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the reach to the glacious north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Fall Gunther at the foot of solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed. And Galdar's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no bard will tell the tale. But perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin, waiting to be unearthed, for nothing is ever truly forgotten. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one.